On July 2nd, 1863, a 26-year-old lawyer from Erie, Pennsylvania, helped turn the tide of the Battle of Gettysburg. Strong Vincent grew up in Erie, Pennsylvania, and returned to his hometown to practice law after graduating Harvard in 1859. Following the fall of Fort Sumter in April 1861, Vincent responded to President Abraham Lincoln's call for volunteers and enlisted as a private with the Wayne Guards, a company of the Erie Regiment. He married his wife Lizzie on the day he enlisted. Vincent wrote to her while on his way to Gettysburg, If I fall, remember you have given your husband to the most righteous cause that ever widowed a woman. By December 1862, the 25-year-old Vincent rose to the rank of colonel in the 83rd Pennsylvania Infantry. By 1863, he found himself in command of a brigade of four regiments, the 83rd Pennsylvania, 44th New York, 16th Michigan, and 20th Maine. Vincent's brigade had to march more than 100 miles from Fredericksburg to reach the Gettysburg battlefield. As they arrived to the sounds of a battle already in its second day of fierce combat, Vincent intercepted a courier with a message from General G.K. Warren, urgently requesting troops to occupy Little Round Top, a strategically important hill anchoring the Union Army's left flank. The message said something to the effect of, for God's sake, get some men up on this little bald hill or all is lost. Vincent took it on his own to take his brigade to Little Round Top. If the Confederates got on top of Little Round Top, they could enfilade the entire Union line. Vincent did not wait for orders. He immediately pulled his brigade out of line and marched his 1,300 men to the unprotected hill, arriving only minutes before the enemy. On Little Round Top, he placed Colonel Joshua Chamberlain's 20th Maine Infantry on the extreme left of his line which had become the left flank of the entire Union Army. He ordered Chamberlain, this is the far left of the Union line. You are to hold this ground at all costs. If the Confederates turned the flank and took the Rocky Heights, enemy guns would threaten the entire Union line, and the battle, and possibly the Union, would be lost. The Texans and Alabamians charged five times up the slopes at Little Round Top, the Union men fought them back until all their ammunition was exhausted. Then Chamberlain gave the order to fix bayonets, and the Union men charged down the slope into the face of the onrushing Confederates. Vincent jumped on a rock and slashed the air with his riding crop. Don't give an inch, boys! Don't give an inch! Exposed above the hand-to-hand -hand fighting, he was struck down by a Confederate musket ball. Promoted to Brigadier General while on his deathbed, it's uncertain whether or not he ever knew. Five days after his mortal wounding atop Little Round Top, Strong Vincent died. His wife Lizzie gave birth to their first child two months after his death. Thanks to Strong Vincent's quick thinking and heroism, the Union Army successfully defended Little Round Top and earned victory at the Battle of Gettysburg, considered by many to be the turning point of the Civil War.